What's going on YouTube? CJ here from the Trading Collective coming at you today with another YouTube video. We're going to be going over TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim uh, book map. So this is a highly requested video. Um, if you're in part of our community, uh, everybody's been asking about it because during our power hour sessions, we utilize book map every single day. So we're going to be going over exactly how I use it and how other members are using the actual book map um, and kind of manipulating it a little bit. Um, so fun fact, TD Ameritrade actually allows you to have free access to the book map uh, for the ES slash ES, which is the S&P 500 futures. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so here we're looking at the book map tab, which is up under charts, and then you go to book map. Uh, quick way to get it activated is just to open up a chat room and request a trial to utilize Bookmap. They'll give you three different um, options uh, for um, the actual order book or the book map that you can look at. It's gonna be usually two uh, tech stocks like uh, Microsoft and Apple, and then you're also gonna get access to uh, futures for ES. So um, looking at the book map at first is gonna be a little overwhelming, completely understand. Uh, this is basically a way to visualize pending orders and orders as they're happening. So looking at book map, initially, again, it's very overwhelming. We're seeing these lines going up and down, these red and green bubbles. What are they? Well, the red bubbles are big sell orders, the bigger the bubble, the bigger the order. Same thing goes for green, except it's buying. So what we're looking for on the book map is these red levels here or these orange levels here. So what that is gonna show us is large pending orders at those levels. So the longer that the level, the longer that that order is sitting there, the longer this bar is going to be. So this, if we zoom out, which you just hit on the scroll wheel, we will be able to see 3970 we've had a very large order sitting here just about all day. So red, the darker red the, the actual line is, uh, the bigger the order is, the longer the duration of that continuous order sitting there uh, means that we have a very consistent level at that price. So currently we're sitting at 39.80, which you can see us ticking around here on the right side. So what we're seeing, this red level down here would act as a major support level. Anything above, we would see acting as a resistance. So right now, uh, we don't have much overhead resistance. And if we look down, we would see that we do have good support down here at 3970. 330 sitting there we can either hover over this red bar and it will show us 3970 there's bid 258 257 but if we look all the way to the right we'll actually see the level and we'll see 3970 has 329 sitting there so that is a large order overhead we can see our closest big order is going to be at the 3990 this is an orange level right now with 277 sitting there so we have a pretty big range right now. Pretty big range, about 20 points or so, or it is actually exactly 20 points between here. So what I wanna show you guys is right here at this point, we're seeing a large red level. We're seeing the price ticking up and then we see it go from red to orange, from orange to yellow, and you see the price break over that. So what we're looking at on book map is if this order were to disappear, that red level disappear, then we would see us be able to, in this case, elevate higher, or in a support case, this was a resistance, in a support case, if we're coming down towards the support level and that red level turns orange, turns yellow, and then disappears, you'll see the price fall below that. Only thing we would need is continuous volume moving in that direction, which we can go to our chart utilizing ES and we'll be able to pair that and you guys will be able to see kind of the full process. So again, looking at book map, what we're really looking to do here is visualize these orders as they're flowing through on the S&P 500 futures, which controls the S&P 500 arguably. Um, and we're able to kind of position ourselves accordingly for support or resistance 
resistance level that we may not see on the chart itself looking at the chart so we're going to pivot over to a chart real quick and i'll show you kind of what that looks like okay so looking at our es chart i've got it up on my other monitor over here we're looking at the 3970 level being our actual support here we have major fib levels this is done by technical analysis on a one hour time frame that's here at 3973 which we honored earlier and we know that we have good support at 39.7. We also know 39.90 is a big deal, which is our VWAP and 200 EMA. So this would be a good resistance to be aware of. And that's about it. That's about it for Bookmap. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you uh, participating in the video. I know this is highly requested, so I hope it's answered all the questions. If you guys have any more questions, drop them in the comment section down below and we'll reply to it. Thanks again and take care.